Three things the narcissist will do once you've moved on. When the narcissist thinks that you are going to leave them, they will often try to discard you first. But there are situations where they have no choice but to remain around you. They may be heavily dependent on you. So they have no choice but to wait until you leave them. They have no choice but to wait until you've moved on. And when you do move on, this will cause a lot of problems for the narcissist. They like to be the ones that are in control. They want the relationship to end on their terms. They don't want you to decide when it ends. They don't want you to leave them. They hate rejection. They hate the idea of being abandoned. And once you've moved on and they know you're not coming back, there are three things that they will do. One, new supply. Once you've moved on from the narcissist, they may be left without any supply. They may have no one to give them money or a place to stay. They may have no one to regulate their emotions. So they're going to be seeking out a new source of supply if they haven't already. In many situations, once the narcissist begins devaluing you, they're already idealizing someone else. They already have someone else waiting in the wings. And once you've moved on, they will advance this person to the primary position. They will move forward with them, even if they don't really like them. Any supply is better than no supply. The narcissist will manipulate this new person. They will tell them that they love them. In some situations, they will even get married or have children with a new supply. This could happen just a few weeks or months after you have moved on. It's like you never meant anything to the narcissist. It's like you never even existed. Because all they really care about is supply. They don't value us as people. And that's how they are able to move on so quickly. Narcissists cannot be alone for long periods of time. They need to have someone around. They need to have someone to take care of them. But it's not so easy for them to find someone who is as good as what you were to them. Which is often why it can seem like they downgraded. Because they didn't expect you to move on. So they didn't have enough time to find someone who was at your level. It's not so easy for them to find another grade A source of supply. Sometimes they just have to settle for whatever they can find. But once you've moved on, the narcissist will be seeking new supply if they haven't already. They will be looking for someone else. They're not going to spend any time alone. They're not going to take any time to reflect. When they find this new person, they're going to be playing the victim. 
they're going to act as though you treated them unfairly as though you just abandoned them this new person is going to feel sorry for them they're going to want to help them the narcissist will love bomb the new supply but this doesn't last for long It isn't long until they will begin devaluing the new supply, just as they did with you. And then they're going to be looking for someone else. The cycle never ends. They just find new people. They do the same thing again and again while expecting a different result. And nothing ever changes. Two, hoovering. Once you've moved on from the narcissist, they're not just going to let you go. They're still going to be thinking about you. They're going to feel like they're missing out on something. So they will try to return to you. In some situations, they will come back as though nothing happened. While in other situations, they will give you fake apologies, false epiphanies, and they will use future faking. They will act like they've realized what they did wrong. They will try to make you believe that they've changed. They will try to make you believe that they're never going to make those mistakes again. They will tell you whatever they think you want to hear. They will come back with gifts. They will offer to take you out somewhere. Whatever they think will get you back. But it's not genuine. They're not doing this because they care about you. They're just trying to feed their egos. And they do this by giving you false validation. By making you believe that they understand. making you believe that they finally get it. When really, they're just telling you whatever they think you want to hear. They're not really about any of that. They don't really accept that they did anything wrong. It's just a game. And it's designed to lure you back in. It's designed to get your attention. But you need to recognize that they don't really care about you. They haven't taken the time to really reflect on anything that they did. They don't care about how their behavior has affected you. All they care about is supply. And they will do whatever it takes to get it. Regardless of how it affects you. All they care about is getting what they want. And once they've got you. They take you for granted. 
because they only want what they think they can't have. They're more interested in you when you're not interested in them because it's about satisfying their egos. It's about inflating their sense of importance. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with establishing something meaningful with you. So do not fall for the Hoover attempt. They haven't realized what they did wrong. They're not sorry. And they're not going to change. Free smear campaign. The narcissist may try to return to you. They may try to get your attention again. But this is only if they think you're still susceptible to their manipulation. This is only if they think they can still affect you emotionally. Once the narcissist knows that you see through them, they're going to show no mercy for you. They are going to punish you for leaving them. They are going to punish you for rejecting them. Because it caused a narcissistic injury. It injured their dignity and pride. And they cannot let that go. They can't believe that you had the audacity to pull away from them. And this is something that they are going to hold on to. Their anger and frustration motivates them to start a smear campaign against you. They will talk to people about you. They will tell people that you manipulated them and then you abandoned them. They will try to portray you as the narcissist. They will try to get everyone to see you in this way. In their minds, it's revenge. And it's justified because you left them. They needed you and you just walked away. So now they're going to do whatever it takes to get you back. They're not going to let you move on gracefully. They will do whatever they think will hurt you the most. They will assassinate your character. They will smear your name. They will try to ruin your reputation. They will try to affect every aspect of your life so that you can't just move on. They want everyone to see you differently. They want everyone to look down on you so that no one wants anything to do with you because that is how they maintain their control even once you have left them. That is how they still keep you in their realm even if you're not around them anymore. Once you moved on from the narcissist, they're not just going to let you move on in a respectful and dignified way. They're going to try to pull you back in. And if they can't do that, they will try to sabotage your progress. They will try to humiliate you. They will do whatever it takes to stop you from getting ahead. They have to pull you back down to their level so that they can feel comfortable. You cannot entertain their game. Don't give it any attention. It will only suck you back in.
you need to keep moving. You need to focus on your own life. As long as they have your attention, they are able to control you. For you to move on, your attention needs to be on where you're going rather than the place that you're trying to leave. Focus on what you need to do to get to where you want to be. Don't let them distract you. Remember why you left. Remind yourself of your good intentions. Don't let them sway you into their way of thinking. And think about how better your life will be once you get to where you want to be. Let that be your motivation. Let that guide you. The narcissist can only hold you back if you let them. Take away your attention. Focus on what really matters. Focus on building the life that you deserve. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.